Support your local planetarium. Cute, cuddly, and left to die in the vacuum of space. Hi, I'm Lucianne Walkowicz, and this is Oren. Every year, people share billions of gifts of cats in space through text, via social media, and by printing them out and mailing them. Adorable, riding on a comet, shooting lasers. How do the cats get to space? Even I, an astronomer, don't know. But what we do know is that once in space, these cats meet terrible ends. After a few moments of making biscuits on a galaxy or playing their favorite keyboard, these cats realize that there is no air in space and that they are now tragically dead. Some are even obliterated later in collisions with SpaceX's Starlink satellites, hence the phrase, you can't swing a dead cat in space without hitting a Starlink. Won't you join me and end this cruel practice in our lifetimes? The next time you go to send a gif, stop and think. They're, the cats aren't real. What? They're not real cats. One Friday in Chicago, some kitties are anticipating spring and warmer weather. Musi and Hiss and Meowadith were working at the planetarium together. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. Meow. The meow signal comes through, they gotta chase it Cause something's trying to reach them It might be trying to teach them something They've got a new job to do, they gotta face it The signal is clear, coming in from past the stratosphere Meow signal, they got a meow signal They've got a meow 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 Yep, that's another video call. Hello. What do you want, Mirak? I'm supposed to be in a work thing. Did you see that? See what? The dog. The what? Dog, uh, four legs, a wet nose, a tail. Yes, thank you. I know what a dog is. Yeah, it just flew by. I think it was trying to get my attention. Where do I even start with this? Like... Maybe it was sending out some kind of a signal. You did not see a dog. Dogs can't just float around in space. They need oxygen, food, atmospheric pressure, love, a really narrow range of temperatures, chew toys. Space is a nightmare for them. They'd never survive out here. So you didn't see it? No, I didn't see it. Okay, well, excuse me for asking. I just thought since you're right next to me, in the Big Dipper, maybe you would have noticed an actual dog. Mirak, even if you did see a dog, which, and I can't stress this enough, you did not, there's no way I could have seen it too. We're 44 light years away from each other. You don't have to be such a jerk about it. Do you it. know how many miles that is? It's 260 trillion miles. <gasps> Dubby. What now? It's a cat. Stop it. On a giant slice of pizza. I'm hanging up. Hello? Did you see that? See what? The dog. What? It looks like there's a dog in the sky. Like, in space? Like a space dog? No. Ah! Lucianne, where did you come from? I just had a feeling one of you was going to suggest something really impossible. I mean, is it impossible? I mean, we've sent animals from Earth into space, right? Maybe one of them is behind the signal. Uh, the last time somebody sent a dog into space, it, um, didn't go so well. I think it's possible, Chris. Dogs are really smart. Yeah! Let's investigate.
What's up, Fit Fam? Some of you have been asking me about the newly shredded physique. And I truly appreciate and cherish your comments. So don't forget to like and subscribe. In my opinion, everybody is a good body. You just have to treat it with respect, you know what I mean? So today, I'm gonna help you out with that. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. It's really cold in here. Hang on. Yeah. Gotta stay toasty. Where was I? Oh yeah, my new diet. When you think of healthy foods, when you think of clean eating, you probably think foods like these. Let me drop some science on you. These bananas are mostly water, but you, at your most fundamental level, you're stardust. And stardust wasn't meant to eat water. You follow, it's not natural, but you, you can change all of that. What you need is one of these babies. So this is my new freeze dryer and it zaps all that problematic water right out of your food. Check this out. Look at it, it's beige, it's perfect. That's why astronauts are so healthy, because they eat like this 24 seven. Now me, at this point, I would say my diet is like 70% freeze dry. But if I could get this baby a little more power, make some modifications, I could probably get up to a cool hundred. Now remember, you are what you eat, so if you want to be real, you gotta eat real food. Yeah. So Fit Fam, smash that subscribe button, smash some good clean calories, and don't forget to carpe the carp. 
We interact with it every day, and yet, do we truly understand its secret intentions? Why does it take on infinite shapes and flavors? What is the nature of its relationship with our stomachs? Where does it all go, and why? I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Today I'm interviewing Cyan Proctor, an explorer, scientist, and analog astronaut known for her work on the Hawaii Space Exploration Analog and Simulation Mission. She believes astronauts will need food to survive in space. I have questions. Perhaps she can unveil the mysteries of human cuisine in a way that we can digest? I'm Stacy Quasar, and this is News at the Speed of Light. Dr. Proctor, it is an honor to be interviewing you today. Your educational outreach and advocacy for sustainable food solutions is inspiring to say the least. After publishing a cookbook based on your four-month stint in the High Seas mission, exploring new food options for people living in space, I believe the world has much to learn from you. Thank you, Stacy. You taught us that freeze-drying our foods for international shipping would reduce the weight carried by airplanes significantly. Lighter cargo means more room for things like mm, bowling balls. Have you spoken to the bowling alleys of the world about this incredible potential for their industry? You know, that's a good point. I have not. Um, and the reason why is because typically the point of freeze drying and saving that weight is so that you don't ship even more bigger, heavier things like bowling balls. So ideally, we would want to replace that with more food, if possible. So food may or may not be more essential than bowling balls. You spent four months in a special isolated habitat investigating food strategies for long-duration spaceflight for NASA. Incredible. Now, when you ordered a pizza, did the delivery people have to come dressed as a rover to keep it authentic? That's a good question because pizza in space, who doesn't want that, right? But actually, because we're in a Mars simulation, we couldn't have people visiting us. So we were in isolation, so we had to make our own pizza. But we did. We had, uh, you know, the ingredients in our habitat to be able to make all kinds of things, including pepperoni pizza. 
delicious. Now we can assume your Martian kitchen might need things like a rehydrator for your freeze-dried foods, and you'll probably need some standard yet special cooking material, but what about the cute stuff? Is there a fun tile backsplash? Well, you know, we try to keep it as sterile an environment as possible just to reduce microbial growth. And because when you're living in an isolated environment, you know, we think about going to Mars and there not being anything there, but we're bringing stuff with us. We have microbes on us, uh, the food that we, uh, you know, are eating, we try to make that as sterile as possible. But again, when you start adding water and you're cooking and you're doing all these things, you don't want a lot of places or crevices for things to get into. I personally like just the, you know, one solid surface backsplash, maybe with some interesting design in it, but still solid. So you can easily just wipe it down. My heart is racing at the thought of it. Cyan. I've recently learned that the fruits and marshmallows in my tasty morning cereals are all just freeze-dried to allow for longer shelf life without losing nutrients. What is something that you've learned lately that made you absolutely weep with joy for life? That's a good question. I just happen to have something right here, which would be freeze-dried apples. It's just a tasty snack that I can enjoy any time. Instead of having fruit that will spoil or frozen fruit fruit in your freezer, best to get freeze dried so that it's shelf stable for a decade and you can just pull it out anytime for a good healthy snack. What is crunchier than a regular apple? A freeze dried apple. My goodness. She's a genius. Okay, Cyan, last question. Let's say you're cooking on Mars. Suddenly, a Martian shows up and says, Hey, we're real. We're here to eat with you. Quick, you have to make a tiny table and chairs out of whatever you have in the kitchen. What do you grab? I personally would repurpose my freeze-dried containers and stack them perfectly so that we can greet our Martian guests. But it, again, it's about reusing all of that you carry with you to Mars. So we not only do we want to eat the food that's in here, but we want to figure out ways to take advantage of the packaging that's coming with us also. Dr. Cyan Proctor, I am so thrilled that I got to speak to you today. This has been the most exciting moment in my 3.5 months of experience as an interviewer. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you, and please let me know if you ever want to chat more about Three Inch Martians or just about food mysteries in general. Well, I hope you'll be picking up some freeze-dried food for your pantry. Well, there you have it, folks. You thought it was impossible, but I absolutely got to the bottom of the mystery surrounding food. The answer? Freeze-dry it. Put it in your tiny pocket. Walk out the door. Then you can take it anywhere including to outer space. I'm Stacy Quasar, and this has been News at the Speed of Light. Mary? Mary? Lucien? Is this telepathy cap working? Alien friends? I love you. No, it's Chris. Chris? Oh, are you in my head? No, I just wanted to say Happy New Year. Oh, uh, thanks. Oh, Happy New Year's, Alien Chris. I love you. Yeah, Happy New Year. Um, let's just use the phone next time, okay? Good night. I, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to hang up. Wait, wait, wait. I just wanted to feel connected to you all. You know, I was feeling so isolated in here. When you think about it, we're kind of heroes. Like... Being by yourself all the time in a little room and doing experiments and building stuff is what astronauts do. Chris, is this a musical number? We have a meeting in like six hours. Also, I was wondering, since basically we're astronauts, how much energy it saves to poop on plants inside the science cave. My plants? I mean, just the basil. You pooped on my basil? That's weird, cause I was wondering.
Luciana's right. We should never, ever explore space. Oh my god, I didn't say that. We had to save Earth. We will never even look at another star ever again. No, I mean, we have to do both. Oh. True Earth is warming much too fast. The ocean's filled with microplastics. That's the job. Also, no magnetic field, it will bombardment with cosmic radiation. We got you vegan astronaut ice cream. Really? Yeah. Let's leave, let's go to where. Who knows we got the right stuff. Ready or not, basically we're astronauts. Let's leave, let's go. Adopting a dog is over Well maybe it's time you think about Getting another kind of rover There's nary a hair to be found anywhere It will sample the ground, it will study the air It will spend all its time doing thorough experiments And best of all, it doesn't poop Hi, Lucianne. Hey, um, is it cold in your office? Um, yeah, you know what? It is. It's freezing in here. 
I think the heater might be broken. Hmm, well maybe Chris can fix it. He should be here any minute. Oh, so sorry I'm late. I was harvesting some basil. Ugh. The day just got away from me, yo. Uh, is it is it cold everywhere? Yes. Now that y'all mention it, my office is full of snow and trees. Oh, sure. What is that accent? What accent, eh? I love hockey. Hey, I have a feeling I'm going to regret asking this, but has anyone seen Chadler? Hey, guys. Of course. Chadler, are you okay? Yeah. Pfft, I'm great. I'm just getting some reps in. It looks like you're on an iceberg, Chadler. Oh, yeah, that. So, I've been eating Astro, and I feel great. Astro? Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. The astronaut diet? Freeze-dried. Chad, do you think astronauts only eat freeze-dried food? Yeah, I mean, so I had to make some minor adjustments to my freeze-dryer, like new power supply, uranium core, dials go up to 11, you know, but then, like, the, the little door fell off, and, uh... What? I think it fell off because it doesn't have a door now. You have... An open, nuclear-powered freeze-dryer running inside the Adler. Uh-oh. Fascinating. Chris. Sorry. Well, you know what, everybody? At least we're all gonna freeze doing what we love. Bye-bye, everybody.